SGS Institute of Technology and Science situated in Indore has been rated 3.9 stars out of 5 by students on shiksha.com. But should you take admission here? And what is the BTEC experience in this college like? Let's find out starting with placements, which has been given a 3.9 star ratings by students. But in the NIRF submission, the college has revealed that for the batch passing out in 2023, 462 out of 776 students in BTEC got placed, which comes to around 60% of the batch. The highest salary in 2023 23 has gone up to 60 LPA and the median was 7.6 LPA. And companies like Accenture, Infosys, Deloitte and LNT came to the campus for placements. The year-on-year -year salary trend shows that the median salary hasn't grown in the last year, although there has been substantial improvement over a two-year period. Now let's see what students are saying about placements in their reviews. They seem to be happy with the efforts made by the college placement cell in facilitating internships. Students of Electrical stated that the college provided good opportunities for this particular specialization. They were offered roles of data analysts, junior developers, testers, scrum master, and an engineering student has himself said that the highest package was 54 LPA and the lowest 3 to 5 LPA with an average of 11. CSE students said that the average was 15 LPA and students place get roles like data analytics, junior or software developer, tester, and scrum master. Now let's check out specialization seats and admissions. SGSITS offers 10 specializations in BTEC, CSE and IT have 120 seats while Civil, EIE, EE, ETCE, IPE and ME have 90 seats each. Students here are granted admission on the basis of their JEE main scores followed by two state-level counselling rounds conducted by DTE. For seat allotment, the institute also further conducts a counselling round. Looking at the last three years JE main closing rank, we can see that apart from electronics and telecom, cutoff in all branches including CSE and IT has eased out. And if we compare these cutoffs of SGSIT with Ujjain Engineering College and Devi Ahilya Vishwavidyalaya Takshila. We find that SGSITS is the preferred choice of students by a long distance for all BTEC branches. In fact, it seems to be closer to the state-run NIT Bhopal. Coming to the cost of the program, the total BTEC fee here is around 5.6 lakh, but for IT and biomedical branches, the fee is 5.14 lakh. So in a fees of 5.6 lakh, getting a median salary of 7.6 LPA would mean a year one ROI of 135% now we will review the infrastructure which has received 3.5 stars on Shiksha.com. The campus is spread across 21 acres. It provides facilities like central libraries, Center for Industry Institute Interaction, Workshop, Wi-Fi Access, Power Backup Auditorium, Center for Innovation Design and Incubation, and an AICTE-sponsored Idea Lab. As per students, the college has a huge library and a large canteen as well. Hostels are also good in comparison to other top institutes. But one thing which can be a dampener is that the institute provides hostel accommodation to only top-ranked students as they have limited rooms. As this college is one of the oldest in MP, infrastructure to some is disappointing. Students point out to the requirement of renovation in the campus. The labs here are well-equipped and have LAN and Wi-Fi access in them. Four boys hostel offer 600 seats and girls have three hostels with 467 seats. Multiple sports ground and coaching facility is available for students. Coming to the best, quality and taste of the food is acceptable. Mess and cooking arrangements are hygienic. There is no dress code and students can wear whatever they want. Now let's check the faculty. Students have rated them with 3.9 stars and have shared that the teachers here are helpful and extremely knowledgeable and the quality of education provided is also very good compared to other state-level colleges. As there are smart classes present in the college, teachers get many ways to make students understand the topics, with some students not being happy with the teaching methodology of some faculty members. The curriculum is highly relevant and students make use of it during internships. The exams here are tough. Those who don't attend classes regularly may find the exams challenging. And now Campus Life that has received a rating of 3.9 stars. The institute has one to three events monthly. There is no strict attendance policy. Technocultural event is the main annual fest here which is called IAM. Large number of student hobby clubs are present. Now finally, the NRF rankings. In 2022, it was ranked in the list of top 201 to 250 engineering colleges of India. For more details on SGSITS Indore and to check out thousands of courses and college reviews, visit shiksha.com. We would also like to hear from you, so drop a comment below and don't forget to like and share this video.